So I'm a teacher seven, Mr. Barry here. Today we're gonna to be looking at the brand new model there that came out for AI art. And that is the SDXL. Now this model is far beyond more advanced than any of the previous versions of the models that we've had before. It is absolutely stunning. So um, let's say that you give it a prompt. By the way, the prompt is just the words that you give it. So I'm gonna give it a prompt. Uh, Nikola Tesla standing next to a 2020 Tesla Model 3. Boom! And this is what it creates. Isn't this just breathtaking? So I did this as a painting there and we see the Nikola Tesla, the inventor of the Tesla coil, standing next to a modern Tesla Model 3. And I, you notice that I changed the seed so you can actually do that, just ran, use random seed numbers and it will create different images there on the, with the same prompt. And it's a nice painting. So on these I did use the painting. Here's another one that I made and it's more of a photograph. It's basically um, an alien in a glass jar. And the prompt I went with this one is Tiny Strange Gray Alien Zeta Reticulin Standing in a Small Terranium colorful, sparkling, glowing mineral rock, stones, tilt shift, intricate and highly detailed illustration by Jeremy Mann, Alex Maliv, Pino Dani, a masterpiece, 8K resolution, trending on art station, dramatic, tilt shift, focus. I'm just really surprised by how the SDXL does so well in creating just beautiful work and as you can see there this is just amazing detail in not only the alien but also the little rocks and the minerals there at the bottom of this jar the way that it brings out the tilt shift focus is just amazes me it really looks like a little tiny miniature jar so i'm very much impressed going back to the sdxl and what we're going to be doing with it today I'm going to be comparing it to the older version. So I'm going to be using the same prompt, that means the same words, and I'm also going to be using the same seed. Now the, the word or the term seed as implied to the AI art is basically how the AI art looks at your words, at your prompt, and then it will interpret those words slightly different depending on the seed. So in one seed, maybe you have a red Tesla with mountains in another seed. Then you have a gray Tesla with bushes in the background. So the different seeds will give a slightly different image or a different interpretation to those words. So in this demonstration, I'm going to be using the same words, the same prompts, same seeds, exactly the same seeds there through all these, but I'm going to be using different models. So I'm going to be using the old SD 1.4, 1.5, 2.0, and 2.1 models. And I'm also going to be even comparing it to the Dolly E 2.0 because a lot of people know about that one. And so we might as well compare it and see which is better. Is the Dolly E 2 better than the SD XL? Well, you can be the judge to this as we get into the video. So let's take a look at, at this and compare all these models together in the Night Cafe. So here we are in the Night Cafe studio. And remember, you can find this at nightcafe.com. It's free to use at the website here, and you don't have to download an app or anything like that. And you can log in to uh, create an account, and you get the free credits every day. Now on this here, I am in the studio, and I'm going to be using the advanced mode here. And on the model, we'll be starting with the SDXL 1.0, but I'll be comparing it with the 0.9, the Beta, the Dolly 2, and these others as well in just a moment. And for this, let me go into the prompt here. I'm going to be using one prompt for all of this. And the prompt will be Titanic surrounded by huge icebergs at night with a Milky Way galaxy in a calm misty sea, dark night, oil painting by James Kearney there. And let me see here, what else do we have? I'm not going to be using a start image and I'm only 
be creating one image at a time. I'll be using short. And on these, I, I believe I'll be using the aspect ratio of one to one, so a little square in the middle. And a 50% prompt weight. I will be using the exact same seed on all of these. All right, so let's click on create and see what happens. In SDXL1, hey, we have a beautiful Titanic. We have the crow's nest. We have four stacks there. Ooh, all of a sudden we have an extra stack. The crow's nest is gone and things are looking a little bit different there. In beta, it's getting worse there, as you can see. Okay. And whoa, in Dolly 2, what happened to the Titanic? We lost the superstructure. Okay, in Stable Diffusion 2.1, it looks like it's on fire or exploding there. That's not good. In 2.0, the Titanic looks like a different ship. It does not look anything like the Titanic any longer. 1.5, how many smokestacks do we need? <laughs> okay, and then 1.4, uh, the superstructure is gone and it's been replaced by... What is that? Five smokestacks. Okay, now revisiting uh, the SDXO 1.0, you can see that it wins. And one would actually be right to conclude that SDXO is the only way to go. Well, we're not done yet. This is, was with a single prompt, but now we're going to test it with multiple prompts and see if we can make the others shine. And here we are back in the Night Cafe studio. Now, um, on this one, I've already keyed in my prompts. And I'm not going to read these off, but I will copy and paste them into the description so that you can copy and paste them into your work if you so desire. On this, I, again, I am going to be using the exact same seed through all of these creations. And how many prompts did I use? Well, I used a total of eight different prompts plus the default negative prompt. Now, that negative prompt, basically that's saying I don't want anything ugly or uh, poorly drawn. Over here, I'm not going to be starting with a start image. You could if you wanted to, but for this demonstration, I'm just going to go blank one at a time is why I'm making these. I'm going to be using a short run time on all of them. And on this, I'm going to be doing a wide screen so it fills up the entire screen. Prompt weight, I'll be using 90% there. And let's see here, anything else I need to do? So let's go ahead and just click on create and see how it makes these now. Wow, it is absolutely stunning. SDXL 1.0 is stunning. Look at the detail. This is 0.9. It's not quite as stunning, but still has some really good detail there in the forest. Beta thought I was talking about a living room with a picture of a mountain for some reason. Dolly 2 does not do the widescreen, and it's more of an abstract interpretation there. 2.1, we have a rainforest, misty, and it's daytime for some reason, and what happened to my night sky? This is 2.0. Again, I'm in a rainforest. It's misty. No more galaxy up there. Wow, 1.5 is really nice. I have a lot of detail there. I like 1.5. 1.4 came out pretty good as well. I like that night sky there with the different hues. So this is really a tie between uh, SDXL 1.0 and SD 1.5. I think both of those uh, two models there, they did very well. So I think you can see why the SD 1.5 and 1.4 and the others are still around because they do still create something very beautiful with your prompts. Wow, that was amazing there. We got to learn a lot about using the uh, AI generated art there within the user interface of the Night Cafe, which again is free. And I know I had one subscriber says, hey, you sure this is free? And basically what it is is you use credits and you get the credits every day. So every day you log in to Night Cafe online, you just go into the uh, website. Every time you do that, every day you get uh, five credits that you can use to create uh, your work. If you use the older SD models, there's no credits being used, but 
there are some credits being used if you use the the newest SDXL models uh, the other thing is there's challenges so if you click on challenge and then uh, participate in a challenge like just do a few votes like 20 votes guess what you get more uh, credits there applied to your account uh, and again it's a free account and so if you like these types of videos please give it a thumbs up comment down below because I make future videos based on your comments I know I've had some people actually going in and uh, you know sending me email or stuff like that but you can actually leave a public comment down below I appreciate that and that way everyone gets to read the question and everyone gets to benefit from your question there and I will make a video answer to that like I did today here for those who've asked about the newest uh, SDXL model in AI art hey, if you haven't done so already please subscribe to my channel so I'm a teacher seven I do appreciate all those who are sharing my videos around the world hey, you all have a very good day bye bye